Hello everybody. I'm back with uh, the Zatagi BV131 amplifier. In fact, that uh, converter that uh, I was using before, um, who was made at 50 Hz at low frequencies, uh, had a very, very low efficiency. So I was not happy with him. And uh, that's why I, I was uh, starting to build. Uh, uh, modern, uh, let's say so, a modern um, uh, up converter. Um, this time I built a switching mode power supply uh, using a standard uh, uh, ATD39 core from an old uh, PC uh, ATX power supply. So that's the circuit, uh, as simple as possible with two in integrated circuits. Uh, uh, the pulse uh, width modulation circuit and a driver for the uh, MOSFET transistors um, and doubling, uh, doubling uh, uh, rectifier and filter uh, for the anodic voltage, the tube uh, that's the, that's the uh, circuit uh, that I just built the efficiency seems to be much better much better. Um, the up converter's efficiency um, was calculated around 85%. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, on the car it will perform well also. Uh, let's make some tests here with it. Uh, first, uh, let's see the power that we can achieve with. Okay, in transmission mode. 110 watts and uh, in the next over I will let you see the anodic voltage the anodic voltage is there 550 volts in transmitting mode uh, it's not very much it can handle more than that but my uh, 12 volts power supply uh, cannot provide uh, sufficient energy uh, so I'm hoping that on the car I will have even a higher uh, anodic voltage. Well in fact it's regulated uh, to 700 volts uh, so it will never um, go uh, more than that but uh, uh, it, it, stand, it still can be adjusted. The tube uh, is able to work even at 1 kilovolt so that's the uh, last modification uh, of my Zetagi BV131 uh, so that it can be um, uh, powered from a 12 volt uh, standard car power supply. Uh, thank you for watching and 73.